Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of A Crazy a Town of Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I am here with TNT Dynamite Explosive. When Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. Yeah, dude, I'm sticky. And we are playing Matt and 21. Football team. <laughs> we're, playing, we're playing football team. We're playing football team. <laughs> we're playing football team. That's the team. Yeah. They're the team. Yeah, dude. Go I like team. that. We should put that in the intro. What? We play a football team. <laughs> we play a football team. You're on the team now, guys. Yo, so. Are you on Team Crazy? Or Cream Team Town, dude. Cream. <laughs> no, there's no Team Town. <laughs> team Town is the worst <laughs> state no in the world. No one would be on Team Town team ever. Team Town. Are you on Team Town, bro? Team Town. Nope. Ew. Ew, indeed. Ew. Team Town. Not not to mention that that is an amazing name, though. Like, if my name was Team Town, that's a that, <laughs> Team Town? I'm not mad it's like, at that. I keep thinking Steam Town Mall. I don't remember what that's from. Steam Town? It's like from a movie. Is it from Mall Rats? I have no idea. You know what's kind of funny? Is this. Uh, we're almost to the right week of football. Like, these games almost just happened. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand what that meant. These games almost just happened. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, we're playing them along with the friends, our real life counterparts. Do, is that a thing? Do, do the uh, do the games go follow, like, the actual schedule when you're playing through? Yes. Really? Yeah, like, the season that I play, like, the brown season that we play is really the brown schedule. Shut your face. Freaking mouth! Are you serious? After we after season one, it's not. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The first, yeah, it's yes. It acts so like we could literally play the game, and then they could play that game on Sunday. Really? Yeah. I'm not mad at that. So you could play the game like the day that the Browns play. Yeah, like essentially, like this is the, the week four game. This when this game comes out, that the the football team will have just played their week five game. Jonas, you just blew my freaking mind. And it makes so much sense, man. Well, I mean, how long has that been a feature? Ever, forever. Okay. The well, entire then. time the game's <laughs> been a thing. That's kind of that's kind of a, what simulation does. The entire time. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, dude. We never said that you were observant. <laughs> Listen. In your defense, you don't watch football, so we can Nor play, do I play the Browns Madden. game, nor... and then you would have no clue whether they ever played that team. Yeah, nor, nor do I play Madden. So and we I play so many games, so many random... Every, you, there'd be that's, no way for you to recognize Yeah, but that's, yeah but that's crazy. I didn't know that was a thing. I don't feel like everybody else knew that was a thing either. You let me know if you knew that was a thing or if that was new information. Make him feel better, in, kids. In the, you don't got to make me feel good. I don't want to feel good. <laughs> Tell him that he's wrong. Make crap. me feel like crap. <laughs> Can't make me feel worse than I already feel inside. Thanks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you speak for yourself. <laughs> That's how I was. I'll speak for all you. Right, all right. I, I, I don't know. I feel pretty good today. I feel great. Yeah. Great, 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 yeah. Oh, dude, I don't like when they do that to me. Yeah, dude, I feel pretty good today. Yeah, I'm all right. Hanging in there. Yeah, dude, you know, it's hard to hang in there some days nowadays. Yeah, just keep Nancy Pelosi in my heart and I uh, keep moving. Yeah, dude, she, uh... No, no. <laughs> Oh, okay. uh, if we want to go that route. <laughs> All I said was she uh. No, no, yeah, but I already know. Jonas gets political. I know, dude. You're I wearing know. the living room, too? <laughs> That's the political. That's where you keep your soapbox. Yeah, dude. I do have a soapbox. <laughs> you do. You can get on a soapbox. I don't have a box, dude. Uh, you get soapbox. I'll go downtown and speak to the public. Do, I, are you, do you have a fear of public speaking? I do not. I enjoy it. Really? I enjoy being up in front of people and speaking. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Me, me as well. That's why, like, when we did like our improv stuff, I had like no fear about it. I was like, yeah. whatever. Dude. <laughs> I'm gonna get up here and just be me. Yeah. Worst case scenario, I get booed off the stage, and that would be funny too. <laughs> <laughs> so, worst case scenario, I win. Either well, way, I win. As long as you don't go in any like uh, <laughs> Kramer rants. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't think of his real name. Yeah, it's like John Lithgow. No, he's cool. 
<laughs> I like John Lithgow. Uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, dude. I don't. I, I like. I've always enjoyed getting in front of people and speaking. No, oh, okay. Yeah, that is a lot of people. It's I do have fears. It's, some people are terrified of it. Yeah, even it, like their coworkers. Did has it always been like that for you, or did you like? grow into that oh uh, no i i've always i don't think i've ever had a problem Even like giving like presentations in like elementary school like when you had to do like a report i remember one time i did a report on like jackie robinson and one time i did a report on like yeah. the roman empire and i had to like stand up in front of the class and talk about it and it was it was fun you know what what changed it for me um honestly because i remember i did have kind of some issues with giving book reports especially because I didn't read the books after. Yeah, the time. I mean that would be. Uh, yeah, I would have an issue talking about a book I didn't read too. You're not alone on that. But uh, what what helped for me was a person told me you're not you're not necessarily talking to everybody. You just kind of you act like you're just talking to one person. And if you're just explaining it to one person, it's what you've been practicing, like uh, at home all the time. Because you if you have a book report or a presentation, you usually do it for your parent or your or like your your, your sibling. You're talking if you yourself have in the mirror if you have nobody else to do it. Yeah, and it was like this, you're just talking to one person. You're not talking to everybody. Um, sometimes if you have a friend in the crowd, it's good to look to, at them. Yeah, to look at them. Um, even though, like later on, obviously, eye contact with the entire group is important. It's something important. But if you just act like you're talking to one person and you put a little emotion in there, man, you can do oh, it. Oh, you can work a crowd easy. Actually, dude, work. I've worked some crowds. Yeah, me too, dude. Absolutely. Oh my god! When I think of some of the stuff. <laughs> yeah. Fools. <laughs> I didn't steal money, Jonas. That's not nice. I would never work a crowd for money. Yeah. Yeah. I but you. love and adoration? Mm. Yeah, I had... Well, that, well that, actually, that actually helped me when I very first started the podcast because the first few episodes I did on my own before, like, you came to visit that one time and we were like, oh, this will be fun. Um, there was a guy... I found a guy who did a podcast... Because I always wanted to do a podcast, but never had anybody to do a podcast with. And I didn't really want to do a podcast by myself. Mm -hmm. And every podcast I found that was just one guy was just like, it was some, but they, it was one guy, but they always like interviewed or had a guest host. So it really wasn't one guy. It was always two people or more. Yeah. Well, there was this guy and he had a little podcast and he just talked about his life or whatever. And I found it randomly. And, uh. I think I found it through Reddit somehow. And I reached out to the dude via Reddit and then and just was talking to him back and forth a little bit. And he just said, like, pretend that you're talking. Pre pretend that you're on the phone talking to a friend telling them your stories. No. And, and like. So, <laughs> that's so, that's so, right up your alley. So you're, just, so you're just like, instead of, like, trying to speak to this entire audience through your podcast. Pretend like you're telling one person this story. Yeah. And then, because each individual is listening to it as an individual it's, audience yeah, member. Yeah, yeah. And it sounds more personalized and whatever. And that, for some reason, that really hit me and, like, helped me understand it. And then, and then luckily, I only had to do five episodes before I had to go. So, <laughs> worked out good. Those five are trash. Don't really listen to them. <laughs> Those five are trash. No, now you got to listen to them. I kind of want to go back and listen to it because, like, after 150 some podcasts, I bet you like, I bet uh, you, it's dude, you were probably all quiet voice. I know. I'm like, welcome to the Crazy Town podcast. <laughs> um, I like, I like things. Haha, <laughs> get it? You know. <laughs> <laughs> I I always know is that when people first start doing like recording of any of any type, like whether it be YouTube podcasting or whatever, even Twitch, like everybody's always quiet voice and they're kind of unsure about. Honestly, just say whatever the hell you want to say. Yeah, like, say it. well, I think it's, I think it just comes from lack of confidence of like, yeah. am I doing the right thing? Especially yeah. if it's new to you. And now, like, I know we're doing the wrong thing, but I'm just confident in doing the wrong thing. Wait, what? Basically saying, what I know we, we're trash, but I'm confident in our trash. What are, we, what are we doing wrong? We're doing something wrong? No, we do it all right. No. We're I mean, as far as technique, I think, I think technique is fine. Maybe, like, Format may, may be like something that can be, but technique is a hundred percent down. Like, we, oh yeah, the chemistry's here. Yeah, I know you. You it, know dude. me. I'm just, I'm just talking trash on us, but yeah, yeah no, dude. We we got, dude. I have listened. Like, I don't listen to tons of podcasts, but like, I have definitely dabbled in some, and a lot, a lot, a lot of them are very bad. 
That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, when I turn off, uh, ours on, I'm not SMIOD. I don't want to turn it off immediately. There's been many that I can't even get through, like, a few minutes because either, like, the sound quality is just god-awful. <laughs> the, the um, you know, the, they're just, like, eh, yeah, but you know, super unsure of themselves. They're, they're not formatted in any way. They're just, like, basically rambling completely. No, never compare yourself to the worst, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Where, where are we at? Where, where Joe Rogan? Huh? Yeah, but I think I think Joe where, Rogan. He cheated. You mean? How would you cheat? I mean, he was a, famous before. A I mean, small loan of a million dollars. For what? <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, that he I was, just, I do, he I was think, already a millionaire. Well, and think, then he basically, well, yeah. I think anybody who's already famous and has money. It doesn't count. Yeah, if you have enough money to advertise to the extent that he had at his, uh, you know, employ. Right, dude. Like, if we could if we could spend a million dollars on advertising, we would have a ton of listeners to our podcast. If we could spend a million dollars and still have millions of dollars in the bank and to do advertising, that would be great, too. I'm not saying is that... You know, because he worked for his money, so it's his money. You know, right? He yeah, it. he was a comedian. He did UFC stuff when UFC was nothing. He's yeah. been he's been with UFC since it started, basically. And he's, he was on Fear Factor before that. Yeah, dude. So he's he really did put in work to make his money. And God knows what else he did before that. I'm not trying to belittle the oh, man's yeah, he accomplishments. Did, he, was, he was a stand up. He just did stand up comedy. Just saying, it's like when you're getting into something like this, it kind of helps to be the Obamas, you know. Right. Oh, exactly, dude. It's like, oh, take that fumble to the bank and suck it down your face. I don't know what that means exactly. Was, but uh, did you hear the Obamas are coming out with a podcast? Yeah, I saw I saw Michelle Obama put one out, and she was yes. already on Spotify, and it's like one of the top ones. Go figure. Yo. The ex first lady of the U.S. puts out a pod. It's like like all these like wrestlers and people start putting out pod. You're like, oh, they're in the top ten immediately. Yeah, they're famous. People want to listen to them talk. Yeah, and they got money already. Yeah, exactly. So we got to get famous first, you know. Let's get famous. Do yeah. something. Do, that's why I've been trying to get this rap album off the ground. Why don't you put out a solo track? Good. <laughs> Are you and then to once, why and once, do you want to hear what I can do before you I go to know you where do. I stand, dude. I, uh, I, I don't want to embarrass you. I, <laughs> give, I, I would give you bars if you if you want to hear them. I have some in the tuck. I want you to put it on a track. I want to put it on a track. How? You have video. You do Twitch, I don't know. dude. I do. I mean, slam I that really, ish while you're doing a Twitch stream. I don't really know how to do all that. I, I know how to edit a, a YouTube video to the barest of minimums. Yeah. I've been having trouble with that Resolve, too, man. God get, dang. Oh, is that a new program? No, that's the one I've been using. God dang thing stopped working one day. I had to uninstall it, reinstall it. I don't understand how that even fixes the problem. Uninstall something, reinstall yeah, yeah, that's it. Unless a file got corrupt or some ish. Well, I mean, that was just stupid. Like it's video encoding software. What kind of files are trying to get? It's it's the second time I've had to do it though. That's dumb. Yeah, you know. But yeah, it was why you be stupid? Like yeah, computers make me mad sometimes. Yep. No, I don't know programming. I'm sure if I understood programming, I'd be like, oh, it's probably the A sequence in your. Oh, dude, the bits got in the way. Yeah, and then your, your bytes got in the way of your bits, and, and then your megabyte. Yep, let's eight, see if the game nine. screws us in the neck hole. Did you ever watch that show? What? <clears throat> what hole? Yep. Uh, <laughs> reboot. We. We yep, the game screwed us again. I love this ish. Reboot? No. Reboot was like uh like like uh computer generated it was like one of the first fully computer generated cartoons, I guess. Okay. And it was like a guy went into a computer and he had to help like the queen and fight hexadecimal. Oh, and... it was a British show? Uh no. It wasn't a British show. Oh, you said he had to save the queen. Yeah, and it was, like, really kind of poorly polygonal. Like, by today's standards, it looked really bad. But, you know, it was one of those cartoons. It used to come on Saturday Saturday morning. Oh. It was, like, one of those Saturday morning cartoons. But I think it came on, like... <laughs> What were the channels, Jonas? There's 3, 5, and 8. Yeah. What were our channels? 3, 5, and 8, 43, 19... Yeah, all of those. What were, what were the other ones? Did you get seven? Eleven. 
35. Ooh. Dude, 35 I'd... was out of Erie, I think. <laughs> it was, too. Yeah. I, I remember Channel 11. We didn't have 11 in Cleveland, but when I moved to Astro Bueller, there was an 11. Yeah. I was like, what the heck is this 11? Yeah, and I used to think it was odd because Channel 9 was WUAB, and they called it Channel 43. Yeah. WAB 43 or something. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so, so 27 had... was uh, yeah, was WGN. I used to watch a Cubs games when I came home from school because I, I was stupid. I would never watch WGN. I was like, why do I want to watch the Wagon Channel? So, did you have a TV with the U? Do you ever have a TV with the dial? Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. And you had like the the dual attachment on the back that you it hooked the antenna to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the yeah, two yeah. screws that you would undo. Yeah, yeah. So, so TVs used to have a dial and it had all the numbers like one to ninety nine. And you would turn it to, like, if you wanted to go to channel three, you just turn it to channel three. And if you needed to get to the higher numbers, you would have to flip it into you. And then you could use the dial underneath to get to, like, 43s. Or Wasn't that how it went? It wasn't 199, then, was it? I don't remember exactly. It's been a long time. But, yes, it was. was I I had a black and white TV that was like that when I was a child. Oh, my God, dude. I was black and white TVs. Portable TVs. Yeah. You remember those things? They were like the size of a and car And then they came stereo. out with cable ready. Cable ready TVs, dude. And so I was watching an episode of Small Wonder because, you know. I New mean, shows are good. Because, no, it's an old show. And I just like, it, it's from the 80s or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I like to just like see like the tech. And so like, uh, oh, <laughs> A portable television was literally like the size of like an Xbox, and the screen on it was probably about the size of your cell phone. Yeah. And it was the worst picture you'd ever seen. Yeah, life. I remember people had those little like it was like like a four inch screen, and you're just like, oh, you oh. need to watch TV that bad, huh? Watch a little <laughs> football game on that. That was hot new tech back then, man. Yeah, dude. So we're cordless phones, dude. I remember, like, my mom used to have the super long cord on the kitchen phone that she could walk around the whole downstairs of the house yeah. with. And then, like, she, then she got the cordless one, didn't have to do it anymore. <laughs> Holding that big CB radio to the side of her head. <laughs> Those things probably was things that could F up your nervous Brain. system. Yeah, dude. That is all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Do Twitch with this man. TNT Dino Man on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore crazy sound. Switch out TV. Mm hmm. For Jonas. TNT. We are out.